What up, folks? Oh, how are you doing today? I don't know if I should welcome you back to the Chad Keegan YouTube channel, Trucking Edition Spectacular or not, because it's kind of windy. So who knows what y'all can hear? You know what I'm saying? But uh, finally getting around to installing this throttle lock, because I've been working the past few days, and I'm like, man, wouldn't it be nice just to be able to pop something and hold this down? and uh not be able to sit there and pedal the whole time even though it's really not too bad that's not too bad but i mean if i just want to pull it back set it on something that i feel comfortable with and roll i'm going to so it's what i got going on right now on the show on the chat thing and youtube's channel been doing some stuff because I wasn't going to record this but then I thought I might want to bring them along for this that way they can see it that way if anybody else has any questions comments or concerns about installing a throttle lock sometime this is my way of what I'm doing um you know I got it for when I had changed out that transmission housing and stuff like that for the shifter and the cables and all that stuff I was going to do it then and mount it up on the shifter but I, I didn't do that because I didn't think it was going to be secure enough because that's kind of plastic and that stuff's breaks then you got a bunch of crap that you don't want to deal with so anyways let's get on to the show you know what I mean I'm going to put it up here on the dash right here this hole is about the perfect spot for that thing to come out for me to be able to boom boom right here i'm not worried about it you know what i'm saying i want it i want it somewhere right in here i was going to mount it right here because i had a plate had everything all set up drilled the hole out for it had something right here so i could just boom and it would have been this but then it would have been in the way and the cable would have been down here in my region so yeah you're probably wondering why you got this trident thing on here well in the winter time this thing blows straight out so i put this on here so it's shoot down on top of my foot so it just hadn't been taken up but we gotta get something green at least to sex it up you know what i mean because we want our stuff sexy but anyway so i'm gonna put it right here and i've already mounted or, or checked the hole somewhere in this region i'll probably maybe drill it out so that's the edge and then just have it right here so it's right here so boom boom everything's right here on my one hand you know boom this because i usually drive with my left hand on the steering wheel so boom this can control this because i'm right handed and with all those bolts and stuff in there that's going to be good enough and there is enough room in the back because i've already opened this up i've opened this up and i've already ran the cable and stuff from the spot that i wanted it to be and thought to make sure it would go back to where the throttle and stuff is at the linkage whatnot back here under the truck which we can get down there real quick and show you because next thing i'm going to do is grab my drill drill that hole out shove it back in there tighten it up run the cable then i'm going to come down here under the truck okay it's going to come up from over here in this region it's going to boom run down somewhere through here in this region and basically going to come right under here loop around and catch on this guy right here this guy's what i'm talking about and i've already got this through there because it's going to basically the cable's going to run into here and then i've got my pocket which i can get it out for you stick it in front of you this guy right here that the cable's going to go through it's got the screw on the end it's going to tighten up so it's going to be on the other side of that and i may put one on the front side too that way i've got both the cable on the front and back lock that way it's tight but i wanted something right here because this guy will move up and down you know what i mean back forth side side to and fro and once i get those things on there that'll kind of protect that cable from hitting up against this or rubbing up against anything i'm hoping so you know regardless if something happens and it breaks for some odd reason we'll just take it off we'll get a different one and we'll get a different setup but that's what i got going on right now 
I'm just gonna run it under here, probably put something where I can loop it, pull it back up and boom. That way it's right there. So that's what we got going on. I had to uh, start to chuck up a little bit just so I could get the tire to turn so I could slide through here because I necessarily don't need to jack the cab up. And if I don't want to jack the cab up, I'm not going to because I'm gonna be climbing in and out, you know what I mean? And I need the cab level for when I'm in there drilling and doing stuff like that. So that's what's up. That is what's up today. You know, we gotta work here in a little bit. Well, not a little bit after a bit. We got three loads, so it didn't get, it's not like it's gonna take us a whole lot of time. We just um, wanted to get this started. At least try it, take care of, see if it'll work, test it out today. So that's something we'll be doing today. We'll be testing this out once we get it in. But yeah, that dash will be perfect because that throttle lock's really not as hard as what I thought it was when you pull it out. Um, and it's just gonna be boom, bam, and that's gonna be perfect for it to mount onto since that's aluminum, just drill it in those bolts. Well, bam, should be fine. And that's a good spot for it for me to be able to reach and just do this, you know, the jig. So we'll see. We uh we didn't get um over that bolt like I would have liked to, but it's it's close enough and it's fine. I'm not really too concerned or worried about it. Uh should be fine just drilling a hole. You know what I mean? Just drilling a freaking hole. And um get some of that crap off there. She's a little warm. But uh nothing too bad. So basically what I'm gonna do is probably get the shop back real quick and uh, suck some of this crap up. That way I don't have a bunch of uh, metal shavings and shit all over the place, which it'll, I'll have to pull it out and, you know, do it to it. And that way I don't have a bunch of metal shavings and shit all over the place. And I don't necessarily wanna lose any of my hardware. So I'm going to, Put it somewhere and then i mean once i start to chalk and stuff i'll be able to blow some things out and whatnot and you know clean it up the rest of the way but it's nice to be able to work in a clean area that you're not going to be mucking things up if you know what i mean so yeah that's her hole right there she's gonna mount right in here we're gonna boom boom this was this uh james pretty popper which um peeled off on me and i told him he said it was under warranty so he's gonna send me another one so hopefully we should be getting that soon, but we'll never, never know with uh, him. He's busy and he's getting ready to take off for flight. So we'll see. So we got our mess cleaned up here, okay? We um we got enough room. See, that's the only thing that we got to deal with right there is that wire. So what basically I'm going to do is I'm going to leave all that shit back. I don't really care. I'm not running a vacuum back there. It's not that big of a deal. And if it pops out, I'll sweep it up another time. It's just a little bit of metal shake and whatever so we've got yeah like tons of room here see all that and you see daylight down there down there by that green wire and stuff so we'll we'll run her through our hole we'll snake her through we'll, we'll run her down there pull her out the bottom we'll shove her down we'll get down under the truck and um we'll basically scooge her through you know because that's that'll be perfect so that's what's going to happen right now off camera because i'm doing this by myself i'm not holding you anywhere and i'm not going to shove you anywhere because well to be honest with you uh, I'll stick you back here on the mount like we usually do when you're riding. And we, you know, make you feel important and stuff. So I'm I'm sitting there and I'm checking out. Um, I uploaded a video and then I got some notifications that I didn't know what was going on. Um, somebody had caught me rolling um, in June in the blue truck. And it was before the 4th of July and I shut it down and stuff. And I come home and I told Kim, I said, I'm probably being somebody else's video. I seen them pass me, they had a GoPro, you know, and I just figured it looked like the truck said Chicago on it. So I figured out some, you know, foreigners, obviously cruising around in the United States, doing their own YouTube and stuff or whatever, shooting the countryside. And I get this notification yesterday from a fellow and he says, Hey, very famous, um, truck driver from God, I can't even remember where. 
Let me get my phone real quick so I can at least be accurate on this conversation here. I go through Instagram because he's been messaging me on Instagram. I believe. Hungary. 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 Very famous YouTuber from Hungary caught me um, trucking. So he uploaded a video and he um, he got me rolling in it. So I've got a bunch of people from Hungary now messaging me on my uh, and subscribing to my channel because he caught me rolling. So, and of course, I was in a blue truck and it says, you know, right on the side, Chad Keegan YouTube. So, you know, they're, they're putting that on there and they're subscribing, so that's cool. I got some more viewers, and the, and one guy, he's sit, I'm sitting there talking to him, and he says, I got premium content. And I'm like, yeah, too bad the Americans don't see that. I, Not any bigger over here where I'm from, you know. It's kind of watered-down situation, though, for what it is. And, you know, the industry, you got a bunch of freaking posers out there just buying stuff to try to get rich quick and stuff off of doing it. It's not like they're actually out there running the trucks and making money off them. Or using them for a good purpose you know I gotta go down real quick okay let's see I don't know if I like where this is at but should be good I've uh, got the cable to where it'll come out outside of the truck so I can pretty much just pull it from right here where it's at and keep on going down until I get this up to where it's in the back if you know what I mean and maybe hopefully it'll be good yeah it's down there let me do something real quick Should be good. Oh fuck. Son of a bitch. I gotta pull this bitch all the way back out because I forgot to I forgot to take this off right here. Right this guy. Dumb. Such an idiot. Here I'm sitting here bumping my gums about shit that fucking not even paying attention. Like a idiot. What? That's what it is. It happens sometimes. You know it? supposed to rain I don't know if it's gonna rain or not it's chance of shower no shower doesn't really show anything on the radar but this is fun yeah, we'll go back jack and do it again Get this stuff off we're gonna put um, the clamp later on the back side because it's got one nice big um, lock washer so we'll put it on the back and we should be good i don't think this thing's going to need to be super tight so back in back in the hole here again and get up here and you know i'm going to put this in and i'm going to think to myself just like i do everything else man i should have did this a while ago you know because that's kind of guy i am i push it off because i wonder or worry about it or anything like that I don't want it on that there's an airline well now there's an airline back here I don't want to be in front of so I'm gonna try and shove it behind it because once I get this in here get this in here if I ever can get this in here this um, rod and stuff you know what I mean it is going to be a certain spot
we can just grab, but we got a lot of up downs and shit. Up down, up down, up down going on here. But I mean, at least we got um what we needed to, where we needed it to be. And we ain't fucking sling a bunch of grease from touching nasty stuff. Ooh, just like that. Alrighty then. Let's see. How far back we can get this thing to go without. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. You know what? You know what I did? I don't have this on the back side of this. So I'm gonna have to pull this bitch all the way back out and basically sit here and hand job this thing because I at least need it. <sighs> Come on. I'm gonna have to turn you off so I can focus. I'm fucking talking to you like it matters and shit when I need to be doing this. <sighs> you ever have those days? I feel other things are pissing me off, though, too, so it's what it is, but I'd be happy when this is done. I'm gonna be dropping no fucking bolts or nothing. Okay, now, boom, get this up here. Now we can start running this. I almost feel like I want to tape this or something back here. You know what I mean? If I'd have had that where I wanted it to be, I might have been able to shove that all the way down. I didn't. Okay, that's fine. That should be fine. I don't know why you're not doing anything. Oh, fuck, get down there and just pull it bitch back up. because it's getting caught in there, which I don't want it to be. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, that'll be perfect because that's right past that airline, not even touching it where I got it, so that'll be freaking perfect. You know what I mean? Okay, right here, this guy's the thing that I kept on not having on, a bolt right there with that, so once I get that tightened up and stuff, it'll be uh, ready to go. So we got her in here, fabulous, right here, boom. Uh, tighten those, that was an inch and an eighth, had a uh, crescent on the back croissant or uh i can't remember what i can't remember what jp was calling that when we were down in arkansas he was calling it something i can't and i can't i just can't remember but i'm just tightening these up or just putting these screws in right here real quick that way i can um you know i got the stuff on the bottom too i just want to test on it a little bit i need to find another freaking i've been kicking shit around I'm going to have to go in the garage probably and see if I can't get me another one of these because I lost one somewhere. Something fell down and you know what I mean? Make sure this bitch is getting tight. And, oh yeah, that's nice. Boom. Okay, so what I'm going to do now 
is I'm going to, I'm gonna go under the chalk and I'm going to set up a camera that way I can see if that's going back or forth because that's what I need to do now, which I'm sure it is, but I don't know, we'll see. Well, I'm back. I had to uh, run to the store because I'm sitting here messing with this thing and I can't get it, you know, I just can't get it. And everything I try I can't get because the wire, the cable, every time I go to pull on it and move it out, it just move in. So I had to get something. I had to go to the store. I'm gonna do some thinking with the old thinking cap. You know what I'm saying? With improvise, baby. We had to use the improvision. We had to get them out. Cause we didn't, we didn't get it, so we had to get the improvisions out. So basically what we're gonna do is we got our cable right here, okay? It's gonna go in there just fine, like I want it to. And we've got this guy sticking out here to catch all or whatever, you know what I mean? We don't have enough room to make it back here, but we're gonna use this. And I went to the store and I got this. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this up so it'll sit up like this. And then this is gonna go up and the cable's gonna bend. And then I've got this little guy right here that I'm gonna wrap around the cable and tighten up against that thing right there that's like that. So that cable won't move. So that's gonna be stationary and that's gonna allow this right here to go in and out like it needs to when I go to boom, boom. But this may be too heavy to just pull it. So it may be one of those things that while it's open and I've got it down, it's gonna be, you know, pop out. So we'll see when I get that done, I'm gonna spin this guy right here. I'm gonna take a screwdriver and spin it over. And I've got some shit to boom, bam, throw that right there like that. And then I'll probably have to drill a hole out because for this guy you know what i mean which is no big deal so i'm gonna do that real quick we got her installed so we basically took our bracket um had to drill the holes like i said that thing sticks on itself anyways so we got um you know that lo lovely fab job right there and that just that's perfect for that to hold that steady it does have a little wobble but i'm not really worried about it because this isn't too stiff so and this don't come back all the way but let's get in there. We'll shove that back right there like that, okay? Because you can see that obviously goes back and it'll stay back. When I go to jack the cab down and stuff, the pedal will just stick. It's kind of a light pedal. I don't have a huge spring on that. I don't like springs on my stuff that's too heavy because uh, I'll just pop my heel and drop it back down. But we can get up there and pull on that. Um, we'll pull on this right here. This too hickey, my bobber. Okay, and that's as, that's as far as it's going right there. So that must be all the way back and you can see the pedals down. Let's see if we can get her go anymore. Okay, we got her go a little bit more. Okay, she's down all the way. So we're probably boogieing about 70, 69, 70 miles per hour. 69 right now and um, boom, we're good. So our cable's pulled tight. Um, right here and that thing ain't going nowhere so we must be good to go uh that's what i'm talking about so that's how i install my throttle lock because that's where i want my throttle lock on my truck and do my shit but if you need to install a throttle lock or something like that and you don't you don't quit, quite get all the hardware just push that button and boom pop her to back down whack on back on that with my heel Boom, wham, boom, wham, boom, boom, cruising, cruising. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's all you gotta do. That's how you do it. In a cab over semi if you want to, but there's other places you can mount them if you want. I just mounted mine there because like I said, right here, I don't feel like this was strong enough and it probably would have broke something. So, got her broke free. See, I'm already cracking and tearing shit up breaking on me that wasn't broke all the way but i knew it was coming i knew the day was coming and these things they don't make none of this shit no more so if you see stuff out and it's in a decent truck that's already parted out there's no engine there's missing radiator there's no transmission but the interior and stuff is there grab this piece if you can it and, and anything else and save it for now because one of these days none of this stuff is going to be around and you'll basically have to buy a full truck just to be able to get a piece like that off of it so show you something else though before i go because i'm getting ready to go because i need to go shower and uh Geraldine just come down said all sweet corn's ready to go so we're gonna be over get some that you know what i'm saying get that mustache going but check this out when i hit bugs 
and this stuff just beads right on my window see that boom look at that bead trail right there isn't that insane isn't that just insane the bug splatter and they, their guts just beat off so that's what i'm talking about and throttle lock install i can't wait to go out and run this today and uh we'll catch up with you when we're running it today when um we're cruising and we set our cruise and we'll do with our phone in the you know the um the dash and the miles per hour and we'll check it out and we'll see what we got and um we'll go from there what up folks um we're rolling obviously we got uh everything going on here we got about 60 miles per hour on the dash pulled out boom no wood there look at it look at it look at it do the dance